Good afternoon. Welcome to Friends and Colleagues. I'm honoured to be speaking to you as President of the Chartered Institution of Highways and Transportation. Firstly, my thanks must go to Martin Tugwell for his unique two-year term as our President. At his inauguration in 2019, none of us had heard of COVID, self-isolation or lateral flow tests, and we had no idea of the rapid and significant changes that we would experience during Martin's presidential term. Martin's leadership and guidance through these challenging times has been truly inspirational. I know I speak for the trustees and council in thanking him for his commitment to CIHT and the presidency over the last two years and for always showing professionalism, enthusiasm, leadership and good humour. Martin, you've been a great mentor and supporter to me personally with your friendly advice and guidance and you leave CIHT in a very strong position. And I know you'll continue to support the institution in promoting our agenda and ensuring our success. Thank you. Thank you too to Sue Percy and her fantastic team for all their hard work and support in organising today's events, delivering the day-to-day -day business of the institution and indeed driving us forward over the last 15 months by developing new and exciting projects. Thank you to everyone at, or indeed not at, Britannia Walk. I'd also like to thank the ex and future presidents I turn to for advice. Thank you to Andreas Marquez, Matthew Lugg, Sheila Holden, Sue Charland, and Neil Johnston. Finally, thank you to my family and friends for your support. I would love you to have been with me today in person, but I know you're all supporting me online, so thank you. It is a great personal honour to be elected as president of CIHT, and I thank you all of our members for this opportunity. I'm only the third female president in CIHT's 90 year history, following in the footsteps of Sheila and Sue. As Sue Percy mentioned earlier, today, the 23rd of June, is International Women in Engineering Day, when we celebrate the contribution of women around the world who have made a difference by working in engineering, including many of our CIHT engineering heroes. Women like Barbara Sabi, Head of Road Safety at TRL, whose work on seatbelts, the impact of alcohol on drivers, causation factors in road crashes, and links between speed and road casualties saved many lives. I was very fortunate that Barbara was the external examiner for my MSc and my mentor and supporter when I first became involved in CIHT. Women like Ginny Clark, who was chief engineer at the Highways Agency, Sue Charland, who was Chief Executive at TRL, Kate Carpenter, who has done so much to promote safety in our industry, Dana Skelly, previously Director of Asset Management for TFL, and Joe Field, President of Women in Transport. Also women like Lucy Cran, Dagmara Starshalek, Anika Davis, Kate Lodge, Nicola Laird, and Katerina Georgiou, who chair our Young Professional Committees, representing and championing the vibrant and diverse future of our institution. Indeed, all of our wonderful female council members, regional chairs and volunteers. CIHT is proud of our EDI record and we will continue to encourage more women to become involved. As we've adapted to new ways of living, working and socialising, We've also seen an increasing expectation for us as professionals to lead and deliver on our projects, schemes and initiatives, whatever the political, economic or social context. Whether you're a current or future member of CIHT, this is the opportunity to embrace this expectation and show what it means to be a professional. And that is why my presidential theme is Route to Professionalism. And over the next 12 months, CIHT will highlight what being a professional means and the benefits of embracing continual improvement and enhanced professional ethics. For me, being a professional means being curious, credible and creative. Asking questions and challenging things, not just accepting the status quo. Checking our sources, doing the research and understanding the issues. 
and finding new ways of combining existing methods and practice, trying new things and taking calculated risks. Being a professional means continual development and learning, keeping up to date on key issues and emerging technologies, making the effort to get things right, admitting when you get things wrong and learning from both those experiences. My journey as a professional began when I questioned why we were doing the highway improvement schemes I was working on. That question led to the accident investigation team, a graduate job in road safety and an MSc in road safety engineering. Since then, I've worked for public and private sector organisations on a range of different highways and in some very different roles. Ten years ago, I joined the University of Greenwich, developing links with industry and enhancing our students' employability. For me, being a professional also includes being very active in CIHT. I first became involved with CIHT at Hertfordshire County Council in 1992. Nigel Knott, Director of Transportation, asked me, you're a member of IHT, aren't you? I said I was. Right then, I want you to join the branch committee, take part in the COLAS award and join the road safety panel. Nigel could be quite persuasive, so I did. I also promised Nigel that if ever a chartership route opened up with CIHT, I would take it. And so in 2003, I became a chartered engineer through CIHT. And so I'm especially delighted to announce that today we are launching our on online application portal for members working towards registration as a professional engineer. We'll also be adding routes to transport planning and other qualifications very soon. Professionalism is also about integrity, behaving ethically, respecting confidentiality and understanding the needs of clients, consultants, contractors, stakeholders and the community. Professional integrity is not easy and it's becoming more challenging. For example, the challenge of climate change. Should we build new roads or promote active travel and discourage car use? Are these two mutually exclusive? What about public transport? What will encourage people back onto public transport? How can we count immediate debates around shared space and smart motorways? And what about increased air travel capacity? CIHT offers an informed space to discuss these topics with other professionals, ask questions, share knowledge, and develop innovative solutions. Those of you who know me know that I'm passionate about encouraging and inspiring the next generation. As a STEM ambassador, I work with younger people showcasing careers in engineering, highways and transportation. These careers are varied, exciting, interesting and relatively well paid. And so it's important that girls are told about them. But it's clear that as only 15% of CIHT's membership is female, we still have a lot of work to do to develop solutions that meet the needs of the people we serve, we need full representation in our industry from across communities. If you're not already a STEM ambassador, I urge you to sign up. The commitment is just for one activity a year, but you'll probably, to choo you'll probably choose to do a lot more because it's inspiring, rewarding and great fun. As mentioned earlier, today is International Women in Engineering Day with the theme of engineering heroes. However, I'd like to point out that heroes can also be men. And so I'd like to thank all the men who have supported and encouraged me in my career, many of them members and fellows of CIHT. And in fact, as professionals, we can all be engineering heroes by being allies. Allies to women, black, Asian and minority ethnic colleagues, members of LGBTQ communities, and people managing their physical or mental health. Whether it's a few encouraging words, offering mentoring support, challenging outdated language and behaviours, or providing guidance on professional qualification, these actions can make a real difference to a colleague and make our industry more welcoming and inclusive. The consultation on CIHT's new strategic plan is your opportunity to shape CIHT's future and influence our development and direction. 
I believe this will include an increased focus on EDI, embracing and celebrating differences, respecting everyone's individuality and rejecting outdated attitudes. Further to our Roots to Diversity and Inclusion Toolkit, CIHT continues to promote EDI in transport, both in the services and products we deliver and the professionals who deliver them. Our three-year action plan will continue this work, aiming for a diverse and inclusive culture in transport. I really hope members will endorse CIHT in our work on becoming a low carbon profession, adopting new technology and practices to minimise the impact of transport on the environment. The climate crisis requires us all as transport professionals to improve our carbon literacy, change the narrative and formulate solutions. Over the next few months and before COP26, CIHT will deliver our strategy for achieving net zero in transport. Our plan will show how our sector can drive rapid decarbonisation across transportation to achieve net zero. An updated manual for streets will deliver clear guidance on creating better places, integrating planning, development and transport to create safe and inclusive streets and people focused places. So finally, thank you for your support. I look forward to meeting you over the next year and celebrating your professional successes. I want to hear what being a professional means to you and how CIHT can support you on your route to professionalism. And of course, how you're being curious, credible and creative in your work. Thank you for your attention. That concludes the inauguration event. May I wish you all a good evening and a healthy, happy and successful year ahead. Good evening and goodbye.